supposedly if you got a fresh egg, you squeeze it as hard as you can and it won't break. It's not breaking. First time my friend showed me that trick, it fucking broke. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's a good egg. You cook breakfast every day? Breakfast every single day. Whether it's a smoothie or bacon and eggs with some home fries and some toast. <laughs> I don't eat cereal really. I don't really eat granola or any of that other stuff for breakfast. So I always just make the good old Canadian classic bacon and eggs and home fries. Scrambled. It's just scrambled in there. But you want your over easy eggs, you need them to come out proper. So you get your little three inch skillet out and you're good to go. Gustavo, he's been here a few different times. He's been here probably for over two weeks. He got here before Tampa Pro, and he's here till like the end of March, so probably just like a month for him. Right now, he's got the air mattress in the living room, actually. We have a spare room for guests when they come over, but it's one of my other friends from Canada is occupying it, so it's like the skateboarding embassy. Let me get one piece for Lola. Whoa, sale. Kitchen, obviously. This is like the spare room for whenever the homies come. These are some boards that Lucas Buford painted a couple years ago and I ended up buying them off him. And then I got like a vinyl collection too, so I'm super into vinyl. I try and categorize them where like, this is like all old school rap and then this is like all soul, Motown, funk music. And then like, this is all just like classic rock on this side, which is pretty tight. Bought that TV from Apple Yard right when I moved here for 30 bucks. Thanks again for the come up. And then yeah, this is the backyard. Here's the hummies. I'll show you guys this thing later on tonight when we uh, barbecue up um, for dinner. Are they still wax though? Oh yeah, they're buttery. Let's just go there then. We'll go to Lola. Lola, or you want to watch Lola? Sure. Let's go. All right. Let's get it. Yeah, you know, like right over on that corner over there? No, I don't. Bench to Manny? A bench to Manny. <laughs> I don't. What, that ledge? What? Yeah! I'm gonna do this and I'm done. Yeah, we are. I live right there. It says no skateboarding on that side, not here. We're not allowed to do it inside the apartments. Next spot. Oh, sick. Aren't you not allowed to skateboard here? All right. I mean, we could always just go to the classic red ledges. We're at those red ledges, but I don't know if there's any parking. I'm gonna park right there in front of the CrossFit. I skate here from time to time. I don't skate here all the time, but once in a while, whenever I'm bored, maybe even come here solo and just practice my slappies. You just switch back when you like nose grind. Not like switch back when you like fakey five zero type shit. You rocking ass now? Yeah, Kelly and Don, they ended up sending me a box. Pretty stoked on it, to be honest. Rocking the classic Excels, black and white, you know? Yeah. Oh, they're done their game of skate. Let's go. Who won? Ryan. Ryan won, ah! I had my money. Yeah, Ryan. <laughs> All right, next spot. You got a charger for my phone? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Yo, Lando. Yo, what up, man? I heard you're going to OC Ramps. Yeah, yeah, we have OC tonight. I'm filming a day in the life, and uh, we want to end it off there for an escape for like an hour, and then I'm going to end up going home and barbecuing. Dude, absolutely. Just let me know what time you guys want to get there and I'll go back and out. Make sure I'm there to open it up for you guys. All right, thanks, buddy. I'll see you in a bit. Right. Yo, this spot's a hit or miss, so it might get kicked out right away. So are you guys ready? First try. If I kick out, I'm a bitch. Oh, shit. All right.
What is the wackest trick? Pressure flips. No hesitation. No way, pressure flips are sick. No. Ew. Look how ugly that one looks though. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I got him too. Oh my god. I'd rather see a burial flip. I think it'd be sick. It's 10 bucks for a large bucket and we'll just fall. Oh man, I can't be going to the range without my clubs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go play some golf. I just play golf one time, when, when time in my life. Perfect! We're just gonna go to the driving range. It's not like we're doing a 18 hole with fucking Ronnie Krieger. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna hit any balls. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Why? TJ just pulls up to the golf course and like gives me no warning. And now I, like, I'm gonna try and hit some balls with some rental club. And like, you know, that's like rolling up to the skate park and like just skating a rental board like that's not that it's not that great dude and, and it's gonna 50 drop 50 drop. balls that's right if you type in the second code it'll drop, drop the second 50. 50 they'll all fit in one bucket but if you want to split them up yeah, just yeah. put another basket under there right. what yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Damn, boy! <laughs> How far did that go? Like 20 feet? Bro, I'm like... Yeah, I'm at a driving range. Alright, All right, Pops. Know, this one's for you. Yeah, I don't see it. Whoa! That one was a good one! And I didn't fucking see it. You missed it, huh? Yep, I, fucking yeah, ready. I don't see the ball, I see you. You see the ball? You see the ball? All right. Keep it there. Okay, Pops. All right, Pops. You ready? <laughs> that one was sliced. <laughs> All right, I'll call you later. My dad. He's a beast. He always calls me on the daily checkups. See how I'm doing, what I'm up to. If I'm up to no good. He always tells me, he's like, All right, TJ, be good. And if you're not being good, be good at it. You know? So, I'm gonna be good at it. Right here, right here. Oh, yeah. You did it, baby. You did all right, kid. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one, huh? You did all right, kid. Let's get the food. Let's get the food. Some little snack. Yeah, I'm down. We should go to Grinders, but then we're gonna be late to OC. Oh, no, that's, that's the opposite way. Yeah, I know. Let's get some taco let's grill. Jack in the box. No, we'll find something on the way, not Jack in the box. Hi, yeah. uh, do you skate? I don't think so. Do a king flip! Yeah, this is the gap. I skated in my last part. Oh, I don't know what to do. How did you meet TJ? I think I met him in Canada at a, at a contest. Back in 2006. Yeah, and then you hung out with Scott a bunch. Yeah, I hanged out with his younger brother, Scoot. And then he would stay at my house a bunch in Canada when he'd come to Toronto. And then Scoot was like, yo, come stay with me and my bro in Cali. And then we ended up, I ended up finally kicking with Ryan a bunch. And then, uh, yeah, the rest is history. Yeah, we ended up stopping by OC Ramps. As you see, they got pretty much any size mini ramp you'd like. Yeah! If you come in the warehouse, you got a bunch of ledges.
fucking hell. That's what I like! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Go fast fucking mines. Yeah? Fast fucking mines. Okay, fast fucking mines. Alright, bring it home. Right. That was fucked up. Back to back to back. Woohoo! We grilling tonight. We got a couple heads in town that aren't from here. They wanted to come over for a barbecue, so I say okay. And here we are. Just leaving your best life. Yep. You already know Gustavo. I already know, bro. For me, like, moved all the way from Canada and I didn't really have the best living situation that like, when I moved here, I initially lived with like Ryan Desenzo and he had like a nice house that he just bought. You know, I try to facilitate and be as best of a host as I can. You know, there's only so much you can do in this life for your friends and for yourself. And I just try and make sure I hold my homies down whenever they need it. Dude, thank you. Covered in smoke. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, everyone, everything's done. Go get food.